We released a new report this week, uh, which isn't news in and of itself because we release a lot of reports, but this one's particularly interesting. It's the, the Global Innovation Policy Index. All of the policies that countries can adopt to drive innovation performance within their economy. There are only two countries of the 55 or so that were in the top level on each of these seven different categories of indicators, and those were Singapore and Canada. Canada, this huge country uh, to the north of us, uh, sparsely populated in certain parts of it, uh, and Singapore, perhaps one of the smallest countries in the world, densely populated. But what's interesting, uh, they both have in common, though, one thing, which is they both understand that to succeed in this new global economy, you really, really have to race ahead, really have to put in place the best policy uh, arrangements that you can have. The lesson of all of this is that we can learn, any country really should be learning from the best countries in the world on, uh, on in terms of what uh, kinds of policies they have. Now, it's going to take a long time to for some of these policies to bear fruit. It can take up to 10 years or even longer between putting in place innovation policies and seeing the outcomes. Uh, and certainly both countries have real challenges uh, in terms of being innovation uh, leaders. But I think they both stand in good stead with these kinds of uh, aggressive innovation policies that are uh, essentially trying to drive innovation in their countries in a fair and open way.